John Hartman Jr. Karen A. Hartman. What you are about to witness is Karen and John's insight into a day that forever changed history, the moon landing. 10-26-45 in uh, Pottsville Hospital. February the 9th, 48 in the Pottsville Hospital. Many aspects of life have changed drastically since Karen and John's childhood. You made, you, you made fun for yourself. You didn't have an electronic thing to entertain you. You went out and entertained yourself and just played outside for hours and hours. Played outside, we, we roller skated, we played Ooh. with we did play with dolls and stuff when we were younger and hmm. you know, no, we didn't have computers or anything like that. Didn't have to worry about muggers. When I was just a little kid, five, six years, I ran the whole town all day. And nobody worried about somebody, you know, stealing you or robbing you or anything like that, yeah. Back then, an astronaut was not a popular dream job choice. Really? Not when we no. were smaller. No. That was a way in the future. Yeah. In fact, it was unheard of. Yeah. Okay. You didn't hear such a thing as that. That no. was 19, in the early just, 50s. Yeah. One of the movies they used to have, what was that movie they, that they had on? It, used, it showed rocket ships and stuff. The aliens. Before the movies and stuff, they had like little clips. Yeah. Like little series. During the 1960s, the United States was in a space race with the Soviet Union, and it looked like the United States was losing. Yeah, yeah I knew that, that was the, they had the spot. That was the big thing. They were the first ones to get into space, and that was a big deal. And we wanted to be the first ones to get a, a man on the moon. On July 16, 1969, Apollo 11 launched into space. But it would never happen. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting their roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. Apollo 11 launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, but where were John and Karen? Well, I was over in Thailand, so Ooh. I didn't get all the news. So uh, you really didn't, you didn't see all the news like you would hear at home about the launch and stuff. Mm -hmm. But we, we were over there at the time, so you didn't see all that. Stuff. Sitting in my bunk, watching it on a black and white TV. I can actually remember, man, that's really weird. <laughs> I can actually remember. We lived in a, a hooch about as big as this with eight guys. Wow. Yeah, each had dead boat pits. One of the guys, I'm pretty sure, had a little black and white TV. That's what we watched. Okay. I was working, worked uh, in, a, in the office down in, in a foundry in Hamburg, mm -hmm. and I worked there. On the fateful day of July 20th, 1969, the first ever step on the moon was taken by Neil Armstrong. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, Right, here we come. Yeah. Pretty good, little job. Yeah, I'm gonna step off the lamp now. It was like, wow, that's—is he really there? A lot, you know. It just seemed like it seemed too unsurreal mm -hmm. to be there to do this. At, you know, at that time, it seemed like such an accomplishment. It was just amazing. It wasn't. A, it was an accomplishment. Like people didn't believe it at first. They thought it was just a hoax too. But they just—it was just hard to believe that they did it. That they did. Then they put the flag there, and that was pretty neat and everything. Then the famous quote everyone knows was said. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was like you said, he took a small step, but what they did was a big leap in the space program, being the first ones to get on the moon. You know, he just, just took that one small step to get on the moon, but it was such a big step for our country that. In, in the space program. Yeah. It was a big step that they did, mm -hmm. like, I, like they said. But... It amazed me when you think of what, how they got these people up in the sky, got them down, they got them back up. That's quite a feat. All safely, too. Yeah, yeah without yeah. anybody getting killed. Yeah. Right. 
Some people believe that the moon landing was filmed in a Hollywood studio. It's just people. You always have those people at home. That would be quite a hoax if you could pull that off. What about you, Grandma? Yeah. They, like I said, they thought it was a movie. Yeah. But, you know, people didn't believe it. There's always non-believers on that. Since Apollo 11, we haven't been to the moon again. Should we go back? No. No? Neither. Why not? You have better ways to spend our money. Well, the country here in itself, improve our country. There's so many things we can improve in our country and not worry about the moon. Some believe that due to climate change, our planet will soon become inhabitable and or destroy itself. Crock a bowl baloney. Why? I just don't believe in that. I'm not I don't either. Okay. It's been here this long. I don't think it's going to leave right away. Disasters before we the ice age. We're going to wipe the whole, cut everything out. Because of climate change, some people think that we should move to Mars and inhabit it. I don't know. I wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know how they could. There's, they way, it's not suitable it. for living. Mm -hmm. And we're not in control. God's in control. Mm -hmm. So whatever he has in mind for us is what's going to be. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we should keep probing.